Well, we, we really uh, brought it out in the open because it was there, it was growing. People just didn't have a place to talk about it or share their feelings or share their insights or their survival or their treatment or their lack of survival. I mean, it was, a, um, it was really waiting to happen. It was a very, uh, and because I had lost my only sister to the disease in 1980 and she asked me, I promised her that I would help uh, cure breast cancer. And that was in 1980. And uh, so it's been a long ride, a long time. It's been almost 40 years of my life. She was diagnosed in 1978. And I realized that, um, you know, we had to do something. And it was going to require a movement. It wasn't just going to be a one-off fundraiser here, fundraiser there. It was a movement. And of course, this predated computers and cell phones and fax machines and everything else. So we only really had uh, telephones and each other to work with. So we created Susan G. Coleman in her honor, memory, and set about working for many, many years. And um, we managed to bring in uh, and bring up the awareness, the sharing, and the needs that have to be done. We've created a large community, a worldwide community focused on breast cancer. 